Hello everybody, how are you all doing today traders? It's now February the 2nd, 3.30 Central Standard Time and we're going to talk about Verge and we're also going to correlate it to another coin now. If you've been following my TA for Verge, um, last time I did it, uh, I did a correlation to IOTA and this time it's going to be to Omizi Go. And before we start off, if you guys appreciate this content, show me a little bit of love guys show me a little bit of love go to steam it and upvote the content it's just a very small way that you guys can show me that you guys appreciate me and what i'm doing and as much as i appreciate doing this for you guys as well right and other than that please also like and subscribe to the content on youtube and on twitter as well i want to make sure that everything is always free I'm not gonna charge you guys for TA. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna try to sell you guys some training package. I guarantee that that's never gonna happen, guys. All right. So to keep this content free, we have to reciprocate the love and also support each other. When is not just simple respect in life. So please make sure you guys do that. It's all I'll ever ask for. I promise. You guys are not gonna make see me like charge you guys for charts or anything like that ever or a subscription or my picks i talk about my picks super duper freely guys and i want you guys to know that i've got your backs okay so let's correlate it to this now you guys want to know how easy it was i want to show you guys how freaking easy it was to play omizi go and how i killed it in omizi go okay and this is not the only coin that i've killed it in lately in the past few years uh, we can go far back and I, I will be happy to show you guys my track record sometime so what we do every time when we see this wedge form is we do a simple Fibonacci extension target right so I will target first of all like I always do slightly higher slightly higher than one-to-one -one extension because I believe that the wave three is always the long or sorry is often the longest but never the shortest and then I also have a second target where I plan to take my little bit of profit here. And then when it dips down, right, I will probably add back to my to my position there. So I can just get a little bit of a base, a different base price. I can ensure that I'm happy with some of the profits I've taken already. It minimizes my risk and exposure as well. And then when I dip, I buy more and I shoot for the second target. Is it going to hit it for a easy go? Sure enough, it was really easy to hit it, guys. All that it took was a lot of patience. Simple right super duper simple to do now do you guys see anything different on verge really do you see anything different at all on verge no you you really don't see anything different on verge right crazy isn't it so if i did my fibonacci extension from here to here to here why the heck would i not assume that it's going to do very similar things to other coins that i've traded I have no reason to assume that it wouldn't, right? Ignore time frame, guys. Ignore time frame because I don't really go by time frame too often, okay? Now, I've been adding to my position here. I, I added some around 6,000-ish Satoshi, and I added even more around the 5,000 Satoshi range here because I do believe that we are going to hit those ranges. I want to talk about it again. I want to talk about it again, and this is the target. 23,000 Satoshi and then 35,000 Satoshi. So we're talking about between the 23 to the 30 cent range, right? Which is a very, very fair projection. Right now it's worth pennies, guys. It's worth literally pennies, okay? Now think, think about this for a moment, about the possible gain and what I am correlating it to. And this is going to come down to how patient you guys are. We are talking about a possible Okay, just say on the breakout, like around 4,000 Satoshi, we'll say, okay, that it'll get to. We're talking about a possible 700% gain, okay? 700% gain, and of course, you can lose a lot as well. Like, I don't know, I'll set my stop loss fairly tight or something, okay? You know, just to give you guys an example of, of like entering on the breakout, we'll say, okay, we'll enter on the breakout. We're talking about a massive, massive gain here with ex with a, a ridiculously low risk to reward ratio or like low risk, I meant very high reward. You guys want to see the IOTA one? Do you guys want to look at the IOTA one, the risk to reward? 18 0.57 was the iota call that i made when it was 36 cents guys and iota got to six dollars 
I only extrapolated IOTA to $1 and about $1.50ish. And then I stopped doing TA on it because I took a vacation last month. But guys, 18.57 risk to reward ratio. Okay, this one's like 29. That's ridiculous, you know? And this is investor level that we're gonna investor level holding that we're gonna be doing, okay guys? So this is gonna take months to get there. But you just think about the possible gains right now. This is not me shilling, okay? You guys know me better than that. I don't shill. If an ICO wanted to pay me $100,000 to promote them, promote them and I didn't believe in them, I would just say no. I don't believe in you guys. I, I don't believe in promoting ICOs or anything like that at all to shill. I firmly believe in technical analysis and that is where my true passion lies. So this is not me pumping up a coin. This is me making factual references to what we have seen thus far already. So it's very difficult for me to not believe that this is going to happen based on everything going on right now, right? Apologize for the sound in the background there. I'm at the folks for the weekend right here. It gets a little bit lonely staying alone. So we are looking at a possible 700% gain, we can say, okay? And does it make sense to play this possible breakout here? Yeah. Is it going to get to this exact point? No, may, probably not. Maybe here, maybe here, maybe here, right? We don't exactly know where the breakout is going to be. But one thing I do know is that a breakout is going to happen. And I firmly believe that. And it is a matter of monitoring XVG very diligently. And that is what I plan to do. I've seen coins multiply by hundreds guys by thousands of percents in my cryptocurrency career i've seen omizi go i was i was holding omizi go since 50 cents guys and i sold that guy at 13 dollars about okay so just to give you guys an idea of uh of of how long i've been into like omizi go for example right just one of the coins i was mining digibyte guys when it was a fraction of a penny when you used to get two hundred thousand digibyte a day with like four to six video cards and we saw the price with digibyte now that was one of my major successes way back in the poloniex days as well i was trading sia from when it was like a fraction of a penny as well i was trading steam from when it was like a fraction of a penny so long ago as well and i've seen coins just skyrocket in exponential gains and i firmly believe that xvg is no exception because i've seen this chart everywhere before to me this just looks like a typical chart that wants to explode over time right and even if it doesn't hit my target of way up there at least i'm going to take the shot i mean we're talking about getting to 22,000 satoshi before we can obviously assume not factoring in depreciation or appreciation or anything like that that is very likely for us to eventually reach this high again right so you have to assume that the market in general is going to stay very bullish over time cryptocurrency is going to be one of the most bullish markets in the history of mankind this year i firmly believe that and it's just a matter of exercising patience guys we have to diversify our portfolio for the long-term holders you have to pick those key coins that you believe in that will actually have a lot of promise i'm just sharing with you guys my personal opinions and what i plan to do because i like to hold myself accountable follow up with the coins that i've been talking about already and also share my opinions with you guys with what i plan to do to to i guess uh financially profit right and i think that this is going to be a really long, good long-term hold based on the charts it's hard for me not to believe it right i mean there's always the worst case scenario as well where we fall down to support regions over here well that is support region actually next support region is breaking down to this range over here that's the bear scenario so guys i still stand very bullish on this okay and i just want to do a quick follow-up on it because we actually ended up reaching this point down here and i actually started accumulating more right around this point there and there's nothing that changes whatsoever guys i apologize for the sound there my dad's shoveling outside like i mentioned I'm at the folks place for the weekend there so here guys yeah, usually you guys hear like complete silence, right? And there's like no sound at all here. Or you just hear like my central uh, air system go off there. But uh, it gets a little bit lonely staying all the time at home. And not really a big fan of it. My parents love my dog as well. And, you know, we share the dog once in a while. Everybody loves Luna. She's like the cutest dog in the world. Anyways, these are my quick long-term thoughts, guys. We're going to probably do an, a possibility of 600 to 700%. 
how can I not take this risk to reward ratio right here, okay? It's awesome. Despite me maybe being stopped out and losing 31%, I'm probably just going to end up holding it if there's really good development in the community and um, and there's a there's a lot of um like the community just grows there's fundamental development there's news releases right the coin grows in general of course i want to add more to it so i will be following xvg fundamentally as well and i will be giving you guys fundamental updates on this particular coin and um despite me not having a lot of experience in the fundamental world i'm sure that i can dig it up very fast and I can convey the information in a very clear and concise manner that we all understand and so we don't have to dig for it ourselves. So guys, I wanted to do a quick update for the people that are holding Verge that feel like they're in a very bad spot right now. I want to reassure you guys that I feel bullish on it long term. I feel very bullish on it and um, I will want to accumulate a ridiculous amount of XVG. Do you guys want to make 700%? How would you guys like it if I told you for every $100 you put in, you can make $700? Even if you put in like literally $1,000, right? That could be a lot or a little to a lot of to different people. But if you put in $1,000 for a year, big whoop did he do? You might lose $200 of it if you hit your stop loss. But now you're getting a chance to make um, six to $7,000. I think that's like a win-win scenario. It's a little bit better than those 1% uh, annual gains per year in a high interest money master savings account, right? In the normal bank, would you say? So anyways, these are my quick thoughts on XVG. I wanted to share them with you guys. Other than that, please go to Steemit. Show me a little bit of love, like how I love and appreciate all my viewers as well. I do a lot um, in terms of trying to get feedback from you guys, right? I'm always taking polls, I'm always seeing what people want where people are panicking and what particular coin and i update those coins guys i've got your back so have my back as well give me a small upvote there and show me some love and other than that make sure you guys also like subscribe and share it to all this stuff on youtube and on twitter have yourselves a great day traders and i will follow up with xvg verge pretty much every few days from now on you guys can count count expect it that i'll be reliable in that manner for you well have yourselves a great day traders and i look forward to seeing you again bye now